Good evening. Or afternoon, I should say. It's not evening yet. <laughs> Hello. Hi. And welcome to the super duper extra special early access stream. If you're here and you're watching this, you've made it further than anybody else ever has. Enjoy the spooky music. Sit back and relax. Cause it's gonna get scary. I'm buying time because I don't know what to do with this. There we go. Hello, everyone. Good to see you. Thanks for showing up. So, this is the next game after Man of Medan. We played Man of Medan last year, and people really liked it. I liked it a lot. Um, it was a little weird at first to get used to, but then the more I played it, the more I liked it, and I really enjoyed the series we did on it. And the developer sent me a code again for this one. The game is not fully out. We are here to do uh, a sneak peek of it, so to say. Uh, so we have about a 20 to 30 minute gameplay demo of it that we get to show off, which I will be doing. And then we'll probably go back and we'll redo it and we'll see what else we can do. But I'm really, really excited for this. This one is called Little Hope. So it's part of the Dark Pictures anthology again, but it's a separate story, so it doesn't follow on any of the Man of Medan stuff. Except maybe the curator guy who talked to us. But it should be just as good, if not better. I, if anything, the type of game that this is and the sort of um, setup that this is and the spooky town and the ghosts and all that is something much more akin to the, the things that I like. The whole Lost at Sea element of it is great, but I connect more. The horror that I enjoy more aligns with what we're about to play here. So I'm really excited for it. I'm going to wait a little bit just to give people a chance to come in and be part of it, because right now we haven't been live for very long, and it takes a while for notifications to go out for everybody, and then we can all play together. Because it, since it's so short, since it's only like a half hour, I don't want to plow through it immediately and have some people miss it, but this will be going up afterwards. So if you're watching this after the fact, hello! If you're watching live, hello as well. So we're getting a sneak peek. This music is not from the game, by the way. I just found creepy music to go along with it. <laughs> Which I kind of like. I think it sounds great. And I also have a... I'm on Noisely.com so we can get these thunder and wind and rain sounds going. Which I also think sound great. How's everyone doing in chat today? Are you having a good day? It's Friday? Is it? <laughs> yes. When you, when you do YouTube like this, you don't really remember what days of the week it is. Are you all excited for the weekend? Uh, here in England, it's going to be a bank holiday weekend, so it's going to be... There's not going to be any work or anything on a Monday, so... Any of you here... Uh, in this part of the world, I hope that you're getting ready for a long weekend, and you're going to have fun. But stay safe. A very Irish potato. Top of the morning to you. And thank you, Dark Moon. thank you as well. Been a fan of you for over 10 years, but I haven't been uploading videos for 10 years. I haven't even been doing this for 8 years yet. Maybe it just feels like 10 years because it's tedious, but thank you. Uh, DX Noodles, thank you as well. You're my favorite YouTuber. You do not have very high standards, but thank you. I'll take what I can get. Chimney, thank you so much. Susan. And Carson as well. Thank you guys. And Hunter. You guys are very sweet. Thank you very much. Are people coming in? Are you all here? Are you getting ready? 
I know it's early in the day, but I wasn't allowed to upload any of this until... Um, I wasn't allowed to do anything with it until 4 p.m., so I had to wait around a little bit. A very Irish potato, thank you again. Um, and I wanted to stream it because I feel like the- I've, I haven't really streamed these types of games before. And I think it's gonna be really fun because it's choice-based and we all get to freak out together. Um, and redo stuff, so... We go through it f once first and see what happens and see what the story's all about and see what everybody's up to in it. Again, if you're just joining, it's a sneak peek of the new Dark Anthologies game. It's called Little Hope. The Town of Little Hope. And... It's only like 20, 25, 30 minutes long. So we'll see what happens in it. Uh, maybe I should put the title of the game in the title of the stream as well. Oh, it's it's underneath the stream too, so that's good. And then, when we get through it once, we'll see what happened, and then I don't know how much variety there's going to be in such a small demo of it, but then I'll go back and I'll redo certain sections and we'll try and save everybody and then try and kill everybody and whatnot. Which I think will be very fun. Uh, let me boot up the game. And make sure it actually works. Thank you, Austin. I appreciate it. Ooh. Oh, now we actually have the game audio. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All that happened was that it said Dark Pictures Anthology, and I got scared. There he is! The curator! Ah, yay! I missed him. I love these kinds of games! It feels like such an event that you get to do. It feels like sitting down and watching a movie all together. We, we had Until Dawn, the same developers back then, and that's one of my favorite series we've ever done. Um, I wish I took a little bit more time with it, but I was heading out for PAX when I was recording that, out to PAX West. So I only got a few episodes done before I left, and then I wasn't even going to play it, and then I was so happy that I did play it, because it was so much fun. Um, and you can go watch that on the channel after this if you want to, because I, I really enjoyed that series. I, that game was amazing, and I wish we could go back and play it again for the first time. But then we got Man of Medan, which was a little shorter than I expected and not as good as Until Dawn. But I still enjoyed it. The more I played it, and they, they're trying new things with this because it's their multiplayer as well. So you miss a lot of the story if you don't play it multiple times, but then you miss even more if you don't play it with other people. Um, yeah, Toss Boy. <laughs> so... This one, it should be multiplayer as well. We're not doing that today. That's not what we're here to do, but I am curious to see that. And I, I don't know, it's fun. You get to sit down and experience all the spooks together. So I hope you guys have got your diapers on because it's about to get scary. All right, let's start the game. Why can I not start the game? I have to click into the game. Uh, okay, I don't really have anything, so I guess just start demo. Theatrical cut, curator's cut. We'll do the theatrical cut right now. I think they said that the curator's cut for this build isn't 100%. Um, so we'll just go through the theatrical cut and see what it's all about. Andrew! What's up, dude? Little Hope Police Department. We have Griffin McElroy. What do you think? Um, I'll be optimistic. Let's take a look around. See what we can find. There you go. We'll be on our way from Little Hope while the others are still MIA in the woods. Something up? Yeah, there's something kind of familiar about this place. Should turn on subtitles. These small town police stations all look the same. Yeah, it's Will Poulter. 
He's a cool actor. I like him a lot. He was in, um... Is it... Bandersnatch? Is that the name of it? From... Uh, Black Mirror? Uh, hold on. Let me go to the settings and see... Subtitles. Minimal all. All right. So now you guys get to see everything. It's very dark, lads! I don't know what I'm looking at. All right, let's take our time. Oh, sweet! Glorious coffee! Yes, Will Poulter, yes! Top of the morning beans to you, Will Poulter! God, my hand scared me. All right. Dark. There's gotta be a phone in here someplace. Okay. Also, you should probably take that first aid kit. Like, I... I'm just a gamer. I don't get stuck in these situations. I don't even go outside. But if I was in a situation where stuff was happening, especially if I have a giant scar on my head, I'd take the first aid kit. So immersive. Jesus Christ! <laughs> it's a drawer, Will Poulter! I know your name is Andrew, but I'm just gonna call you Will Poulter from now on. God damn. I'm getting scared by nothing. Oh, we're the Millers? Yeah, he's the guy in that meme. He's like, wait, you guys are getting paid? Everyone probably knows him from the meme more than anything else. <laughs> Take the first aid kit. You're gonna need that, Will Poulter. You got a giant slice on your head. We didn't find out that dude's name, did we? Alright. What can I find? This is cool. This reminds me of uh, Resident Evil 2. Keep looking. I am no name. Wow. Oh, and that's all over your hands. Touch of a Little Hope certificate of commendation presented to Little Hope Police Department. January 1972, Officer George Reynolds and Ernie Hoffman responded to a call concerning a house fire. Arriving before the fire service, the officers, with no concern for their own safety, rushed into the house to attempt to rescue the family members trapped inside. Tragically, many lives were lost as they were beaten back by the flames. However, the mayor, chief of police, and a grateful public thank the police department for their continued dedication to service. April 4th, 1972. Okay. Let's see if we can turn up the fucking brightness. Alright. That's about as far as I'm willing to go, because it'll just start looking shit otherwise, but... Just know, if it's dark for you, it's dark for me as well. Okay, there's shiny shines everywhere. Oh, it's cut! Fucking thing. I thought this was our way out. He did this. I don't trust the guy we're with. Seems like an asshole. Hello? God, this game looks gorgeous, though. God, it's hard to control at the same time. It's thundering outside? Hell yeah, get that immersion, brah! Is that more coffee? Soda. Energy for kids. Let me let me inspect. Old witch jail. Real nice. It's like Bloodborne when they have the hypogee in jail. I think that's how you pronounce it. It could be Gwail. Old witch Gwail, built in 1684, demolished in 1783. In 1692, there's a lot of dates. During the Little Hope witch trials, many of the accused were imprisoned here. The Little Hope witch trials. Hell yes. This is so dope! Give me some witches! I don't know if I should be going through here yet. No, 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 no. No, no, no. We've got some... We've got some little hoping to do. I have eyeballs. I must use them. Although, that's probably the way out down there. There's gotta be something. Yeah, why don't you look around, Stretch? Jail is the old spelling of jail. Yeah, I figured. We have a winner. Found a phone. Fuck yeah, Will Poulter. This could be our way out. Ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, dominoes. Mine's dead. <coughs> what was that? 
Shit! <laughs> Calm down Whoa. there, Johnny boy! Hey! Take it easy. <laughs> Jesus! You guys anger issues. I'm thinking I know what's wrong. Please do share. There's no cable plugged in. <laughs> uh, there's got to be a cable here someplace. You fucking moron. Fucking thing. Real nice. <laughs> Hello? Damn it, it's not working. Trashes the place, kills Will Poulter. It's like, dude, it's not plugged in. Fucking idiot. Ah, dope. Oh wait, you're talking about dope as in the drug. Dope? Don't do it. Cause that's not dope. Alright, what drug is dope? I've always heard it just be dope, but I, I actually realize that I don't know what dope actually is. Hello, what this? Hippies! Oh, Jesus. TC Toilet caper Okay, let's just say is that say hippie junk on it? All right, so I'm not a hundred percent sure on what the premise of the game is because we we all just started off here together I don't really know either they sent me a video beforehand um, showing or like as a, a sort of setup and it said that they were they were all in a bus together, and they survived the crash, and now we're here. Oh, don't- JESUS! What is that? It's the banana phone! Oh, dope is weed. Okay. Hello, Will Poulter. What do you think? Answer it. Hell yeah! I got this. I can do this. Be careful. Let go of me, Johnny boy. Don't stress it, Professor. How much damage can a phone do? I should not be in this day. I stand there falsely accused. Falsely accused! What can you hear? A woman. She sounds real upset. Talk to her. Try to get some details, her location, anything we can use to find her. No, I'm here in the past, dude. What's your name? Can I ask? What's your name? As I walked, a man and a woman appeared at my front. I had not seen them approach. I, I reached out. Approach. You guys don't realize that uh, ghost phone just rang? Help me out here. What the hell is going on with you? Okay, okay, okay. Stay cool. Stay cool. <laughs> Can you at least tell me where you are? You are not my husband. You have no authority over me. I know. I didn't say I was. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Get off of me! Oh God, we're back in the past. Come here, girl. She's a devil. I would speak with you. I can tell. You can always tell. Talk of our secret. Eternal damnation awaits if you do. We have an understanding, do we not? No evil word shall leave my lips. Should you breathe a word, or the edge of a word about the other things, then I will come to you in the black of some terrible night and bring a reckoning that will shut you. Now, Reverend, let us begin. Enough time has gone begging. Go be with your kin. He's the reverend? Scarier than the devil himself. And good judge Wyman, do not be fooled by the protestations of the accused. The devil is the master of deceit. All his servants feign innocence. They can do little else. I solemnly swear before God, I am innocent of all accusations against Hush me. Hush now, Amy. What the hell should we do? I don't know. Let's just stay quiet. I want to see what's going on. We need to stay. this play out. See what happens. I mean no offense, Reverend Carver. I do not believe any of my neighbors, those who know me best will speak out against me. They know who I am, that I side with the righteous. I will not be caught in the web of your deception. 
The devil hides himself where he is least expected. My wife is no devil's plaything, Reverend. I beg the court's forgiveness. But I stand by my statement. My wife Amy is innocent. I respectfully ask this good court to pay no mind to the words of a man whose very home is foul with the stench of brimstone. He's saying you stink. You smell like shite. Um, approach or approach? I will approach. Good decision. I beg you, good judge. Let us conclude our business here without further ado. Lest we afford the forces of darkness the opportunity to bend these proceedings to their will. Because I will shine God's... No! Mary? What is happening? Mary, my sister, what ails you? <laughs> what the... Stay out of this. What have you done to this child? You have bound an innocent girl into a pact with the devil himself. The poor creature seems possessed. No doubt you're doing. It's not true, Reverend. Why have you turned against me so? We will see the truth of it. Amy, lay your hands on Mary. Let us see what occurs. Lay your hands on Mary there on the ground. Your touch will release her from this affliction. It must be so if you are the one who bewitched her. I can't take much more. I can't take this anymore! Uh, leave her alone! I'm mad! Leave her alone! Who speaks? Who's there? God preserve us. Please. That's cool! The master cannot help me out. This is too late. Step aside, everybody! Eyes and your top hat will help! They are here among us. They are here among us! What the fuck? No! What have you done? What more proof is needed that the devil walks among us in little <laughs> hole? Take heed and pray. The devil is here in this very room. Why does he look familiar? Protect yourselves. Seek out the Lord. What the fuck? Never answer a phone again. What the hell was that shit? Was that for real? Felt pretty damn real to me. Seriously? Dope? Don't Didn't do it. Charles happened centuries ago? Most of them over 300 years ago. Then how come we just saw one? Like I say, I have no good explanation. That little girl who had some kind of seizure. Mm -hmm. What do you think was going on there? It's a girl I saw in the woods. The whole thing scared me. I don't know what woods we were just in, but I'll say this one anyway. I know that little girl. She's the one me and Angela saw back in the woods. Accusations were often malicious, made by someone with a grudge. Or by meddling liars, like that little girl, who took perverse pleasure in poisoning their own communities. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? She faked it. She got up and she smiled. And I hate children. Um, and the devil is in them, so... I'm with you. That. That kid knew exactly what she was doing when she dropped Angela 2.0 deep in the shit. <laughs> the woman we just saw condemned? I saw her back at the intersection. Hmm. Her husband looked like you. Yeah, he did. She was in deep shit. You know what? I think I'm going to go with a more... A, a higher vocabulary on this one. I noticed something else weird. Her husband? He looked a lot like you, Professor. The two people with that little brat look just like Daniel and Taylor. What the hell does all this mean? Who is Who's it? That? Hey, Professor! You in there? Come on, let's go. Hey, Taylor, we're in here. We can't open the damn doors. Just try we using a little use... force. They must be locked. Let's all try to force the handle. In use three, your shoulder. Two, It'll one. cure what ails you. Oh, ah, I'm a polter. <sighs> we'll poltergeist. Taylor. <sighs> hey, professor. 
Find anything that could get us out of here? Nah, big fat nothing back there. That guy! Just he looks like the junk. the kid's dad. Are you okay? I'm fine. Why the concern, John? What's bugging you? Because you look like melted ice cream. We saw Angela's double get tried and condemned for being a witch. Okay, so now what? Uh, we've already tried a few places and come up with nothing. Except enough weird shit to put us in therapy for life. And we have to continue on into town. Forget about what's happened so far. Our best shot at finding help is in town. Really? Forget about what's happened? There's some real scary shit going down in the outskirts, and our plan is to stroll into the center of Weirdsville? Just a suggestion, but maybe we should figure out what the fuck is going on here first. Good plan. We need to know what that woman is facing. What's gonna happen to her next? I like the idea. But how would we even begin to find that out? So all the people at that trial look like We've these people. Down those paths. Maybe the answer lies down the one path we haven't taken yet. What the hell? Kiss me. This is fucking crazy. We have no clue what we're getting ourselves into. Uh, I'm gonna be optimistic again. I'll be that annoying guy who's always chipper. Come on, Will Poulter, we can save humanity. It's already been a hell of a night, but I'm sure we'll pull through. The geeky exterior is all play. There's a warrior in there. Thanks, Twilight. It kind of reminds me of Silent Hill. It's cool. Oh, now I get to play as John. Oh, I don't want to play as John, though. John stinks. I like Will Poulter. Lead your students toward town. Oh, so you guys are my students. Got it. Isn't it Silent Hilly? Oh, and he even has his phone out with his flashlight on. That's a nice touch. There's little hope here, lads. Get it? It's just a little professor joke, whatever. Can I do anything to these houses? No. Ah, oh, this is cool though! I love spooky towns, I love spooky woods. This fog is getting worse. You said it, melted candle. Oh, this is gorgeous though. Maybe the fog was the reason for the diversion. We were never meant to make it out of here. Okay. Keep saying more things because I don't know what's going on. Narrow bridge. Am I hearing something? Can't see for shit. Jesus, Angela. The water looks black. I don't want to go anywhere near it. Yeah, it's fucking nighttime. Also, oh, what's the point of wearing glasses if you're still gonna fall into a hole? I say we ditch Angela. That's it. <laughs> Who's first up? Angela. Professor, you keep telling us you're in charge, so... Uh, let's check all our options. I'm not going first. Are you fucking kidding me? Maybe we need to check all our other options first. Right. Thought so. Come on. <sighs> what the fuck is going on with this guy? I want off this bridge as fast as possible. It's through the hole, Angela. Not that fast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Someone has to go first. <laughs> you lead. I'll be right behind you. She heard me. <laughs> oh, not Will Poulter! He's run into the Will Poltergeist! Oh, not all at once. Come on. 
This is why it's called Little Hope. Pusher, no one would know. Hey! Calm down, Riverdale. Nothing's gonna oh happen. God. What do we do? We can't stay here. Oh, yes! <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! Why are you here? In this year of our Lord, 1692, we are here present to bear witness to a just execution. No! Amy is declared guilty of consorting with the devil and is to be drowned as a witch and sorceress. Let us pray in silence for her soul. I thought you burned witches, not drowned them. Is that the phone call we heard? This is death. I beg you. Or is it the other What's scene? What's going on? Why, why do you look like Angela? Your words have little meaning to me, but I beg you. Help me. That's so cool. The devil is in the wind, seeking to help his own. He would release her from the chains. Isaac. Let us conclude our business here swiftly. The will of the court must be imposed before it's too late. Before it's too late. The devil fortifies her. You must bind her tightly. You cannot do this. Isaac, I am innocent. fulfill the will of the court. Send Jesus. this witch back into the lap of her Is Angela going to fall off the bridge all. when this happens? Little Hope is already lost, shrouded in evil. But not as you claim from witchcraft or outside demons. We are poisoned from within. You will not save yourself with riddles. There is no riddle. The devil takes many forms. You know that better than any. If Little Hope he has hid himself under a shroud of innocence, take her the form of a child, thy accuser. While Mary still draws breath, little hope remains beyond salvation. Cool. Realize your evil reference. Be your very fix. Isaac. <laughs> Jesus. I was just joking about Angela. Jesus. Her husband did fuck all to help. God damn it, John. Oh, she's so going in the she's going in the drink. Oh, Angela. What did you see? Tell me. I don't know how to tell you what I just saw. Um Be honest. Right? Honesty is the best policy. Surely it can't do any harm. Your double was pushed into the river in chains. She drowned. He's coughing up blood. Who was that? All right, I'll go first. Okay, you two, get on down here. His voice sounds very familiar. You're very spry, Angela. The fuck? What the hell is that? <laughs> it's Angela! Get away from it! Ew! Get the hell out of there! Nice shoes, Polter. Look out! Shit! Don't leave me behind! Hey! Give me a hand here! Hold on, hold on! 
Oh, shit. Well... I'm coming back for you. Hold on. Oh, shit. Which one did I pick? Oops. Oh, no. Angela. Andrew! Grab hold of my hand. Come on. Move it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Don't just spring buttons on me. Oh, good Lord. This is tense. We gotta go get Angela. What the whoa? Oh, can I say both? Hell yeah! Come on, Angela, climb! We got her. We got her, gang. We got her. I knew that that was gonna happen. It's fine. Angela, this is what you're gonna look like in six months. Oh! Damn it! Come on, man! Oh, I want it all, like, right now. <laughs> I know, I knew it was gonna be short, but, jeez. That was dope! God! I don't wanna like... I don't wanna shit on what they've made before, because, let's face it, making video games is very hard. Oh wait, wait for it! There it is. Um... Uh, Man of Medan was, was decent. I, I liked it, but it didn't blow me away. This so far is already way better. The... Whatever about the characters, I don't really care about them. Um, but the town is cooler looking. The setup and the premise is cooler. The visual styling and artistic... Like, musings are a lot better. Just because I like this sort of... Town in the woods, covered in fog, shrouded in mystery kind of shit, and the, the witch trials and everything is really cool. Um, we're gonna go back through it again, so don't leave the stream yet. We're gonna, we're gonna go through it once more, because I wanna see what happens if I don't make certain decisions. I wanna try and make the opposite decisions on all of that now. Um, cause this, this is just a, a little demo, a little taster of it, so... The professor and some students, and maybe, I don't know who Angela is, maybe another professor, uh, go out and then they crash and then they end up in Little Hope. But it seems like... It's cool that they're doing witch trials and they think witchcraft and magic exist, but really it's just like timelines converging on top of each other. And then... They see like ghosts, but they're not ghosts, they're just them from the future or something? That's really cool. I like that setup. Um, but yeah, fuck Angela, right? I, I'm i gonna let her die this time. <laughs> Wait, what should we do next time then? Because I, I want to go through it once more, at least. Um, and see what we can do. Should we... Should we let both of them go and not... Yeah, we'll do that. We'll just not pick anybody in that scenario. Because um, I picked... John that time, but I want to see what happens because I I'm not continuing on this save So I just want to see what actually happens and get some of the the answers out of it um, But that was Angela's like double is her name Angela in the past as well uh, And now we have a bit more um, We have a bit more kind of story to roll with now um, let me see what they said about the curator's cut, because I don't want to jump into it if it doesn't work. Um... Ah, so it says the curator's cut has a limited difference between the theatrical cut so far, because it's the- it's not done yet, um, and this is just a tiny section. Oh, I didn't pick any? What? Didn't I pick the dude? I hell left. Um... But please still have a go and take a look at the different decisions. So maybe we'll do that as well. Um... Because I also just don't want to end a stream immediately like that. So let's go back and do this one. 
We won't pick anyone on that, and then I'll try and pick the opposite decisions for all the ones that I did. What's up, Andrew? He's my favorite. He's nice shoes. What do you think? Uh, now I'm doubtful. I was optimistic before, but this game has driven the optimism out of me. Oh wait, I can't pick. Uh, why is it not working? I'm not so sure we'll find anything useful in here. Uh oh. It's derelict. You students are all the same. Doom, gloom, and negativity. <laughs> Never mind how it looks. All we need is one phone to still be hooked up. Something up? Yeah, there's something kind of familiar about this place. Hmm. These small town police stations all look the same. I guess. Coffee! Oh, shit. Why is my controller working? My controller's not working! Why? There's gotta be a phone in here someplace. Okay, this is kind of broken. Um... <laughs> let, me, let me restart it, because I... I started the game with... Because keyboard and mouse doesn't work in the game yet. Or at least not for this build, so I have to go back and restart it to try and get the the controller to work properly. Oh, coffee indeed. Cuff, 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 cuff. Oh no, the spooky scares are happening again. She's gonna scream! Close your ears! Can't scare me again. I've seen this before. There we go. Alright. Could be an alternate dimension? Mm, I guess so. Okay, we have to- whoops. We have to listen through this again. You fucking students are all the same. Doom and gloom and negativity. <laughs> JB, yes, thank you. Go get yourself another coffee, it'll help. And John and Rusty, thanks for becoming members. What do you think? Thanks, Marine. Reminds me of Nicolas Cage's Season of the Witch. I've never seen it. I'm Must be so the sure season we'll of the witch. It's derelict. You students are all the same. Doom, gloom, and negative. <laughs> never mind how it looks. All we need is one phone to still be hooked up. Something up. What's the release date yeah, for this? something kind of familiar about this place. When does the full game come out? I can't remember. Small town police stations all look the same. Coffee! I just wanted to see the coffee again. That's the real reason. Alright, here we go. There's gotta be a phone in here someplace. Yeah, I found it last time. I'm very smart. Um, now I want to go see what happens with the door. And I di also didn't go this way. What's in here, John? Something epic? Reynolds. Ryan? My best bud? Little Hope Police Department. Oh. Oh, it comes out on 30th of October. Perfect. I'm really glad I got to play it a little early, because I've gotten the opportunity to play the other ones earlier, but I kept saying, like, no, I want to wait for the full game to come out and not spoil anything, but... This one I've been really excited for. I just wanted to get into it. I've lost everything. Huh. Spooky, spooky. Alright, something going on with the jail cells, at least. Did you find anything, John? Or do I have to do all the work again? Because it's kind of cringe, not gonna lie. Howdy. I wasn't saying anything. Fuck you.
Um, it was this door that I didn't try. And it's locked! Cool! Alright, let's go do the phone now. I don't think I missed anything else, did I? I checked all these rooms. Oh, John, Jesus, you scared me. I mean, Professor, how's it going? There's got to be something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm working on it. We have a winner. Found a phone. Found a phone. Pretty epic. This could be our way out. Mine's dead. <clears throat> Shit! <laughs> Whoa! Hey! He just fucking hulks out Take for no easy. reason! I'm thinking I know what's wrong. Please do share. There's no cable plugged in. Why so much dialogue for a simple thing? Uh, there's got to be a cable here someplace. So he has something wrong with him because he keeps coughing and he keeps being in pain and then there's blood coming out of his mouth at the end. Wonder if his characters are going to converge or something. Also, we got TC. What is... Do we know a TC or anything from now being in the past, present, future? T.C. Carson, the original voice actor for Kratos. Ring, ring. Oh, it didn't ring this time. Oh. Hello? Mom, come pick me up. I'm scared. All right. I'm a head out. Ring, 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 ring. Banana phone. Maybe I just have to inspect all these things. Real nice. Yeah, look at that craftsmanship. Also, that mocap on the lady when she was pleading for her life before they pushed her into the lake and she was saying that the devil is among us. That was really damn impressive looking. Keep looking. I am! Keep your fucking Hulk in check! Fucking thing. I thought this was her way out. Me too. What is that? Ah! Fuck! Scared the shit out of me! <laughs> <sighs> What do you think? <clears throat> Hello? Answer it. Oh, yeah, I'll do the opposite this time. Wait. Let's think about this. What if someone shoots me through the phone? Oh, no, he answers it. Hello? Who is this? <laughs> Who's the face? Who's on the line? I can't tell, but they sound in pretty bad shape. This is getting way too crazy. Just hang up. What the <laughs> I got it again. Fuck. I keep getting scared. <laughs> yeah, so that's uh, Twilight and Riverdale. Come here, girl. I would speak with you. You cannot talk of our secret. Eternal damnation awaits if you do. We have an understanding, do we not? No evil words shall leave my lips. Should you breathe a word, or the edge of a word about the other things, then I will come to you in the black. So did he put her up to it? And bring a reckoning that will shut you. Now, Reverend, let us begin. Enough time has gone begging. Go be with your kin. I beseech this court 
and good judge Wyman. I love these Not accents. Not fooled by the protestations of the accused. The protestations. The devil is the master of deceit. All his servants feign innocence. Is he supposed to have a face? Else. I solemnly swear before God, I am innocent of all accusations against Hush me. Hush now, Amy. What the hell should we do? Ah, uh, let's get out of here. Let's get the fuck out of here. I beg you not to abandon me. By all that is holy, with whom are you conversing, woman? Even though I've seen this with my own eyes, I scarcely believe it. Amy is lost to us. Even now, she pleads for evil spirits to remain by her side. You must help me. I beg you. She can hear us. She can hear us. If she can, then maybe others can too. I would ask the court to hear direct testimony. A witness who saw with her own eyes the accused take part in some unspeakable satanic ritual. In the woods outside of this very town. Reverend Carver, you mislead us all. Forgive me, good judge, but it is my wife who stands accused, and I know her to be innocent. Yeah, that's him. I would not be so quick as to cast stones it's John. as Joseph. Not when your own conduct does not bear scrutiny. <laughs> Please hear me, good judge. All accusations against me are false. They're founded only in malice. If there be darkness here among us, I will shine God's... No! <laughs> no! Mary, my sister, what ails you? They are what here. Get her a supper, tea. You have bound an innocent girl into a pact with the a devil himself. A hot drop will skew what ails you. The poor creature seems possessed. What no doubt you're on? doing. It's not true, Reverend. Why have you taken against me, sir? We will the see the truth of it. Her. Amy, lay your hands on Mary. Amy. Let us see what occurs. No they sound like they're from Birmingham. From, from Brum. Affliction. It must be so if you are the one who bewitched her. Uh, I, I said enraged last time, right? I don't think I can take much more of this. What is she speaking? I think it's almost over. Here comes Bloodborne. Bum 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 They are here among us. They are here among us. What a little bitch. No. Kick her. What more proof is needed that the devil walks among us in little hope? <laughs> Take heed and pray. The devil is here in this very room. Protect yourself. The little shit eating grin. Yeet the child. <laughs> Throw her out a window. What the hell was that shit? Was that for real? Felt pretty damn real to me. Was that a realsies or a foolies? Seriously? Didn't the witch trials happen centuries ago? Yeah. Most of them over 300 years ago. Then how come we just saw one? Like I say, I have no good explanation. Yorkshire, not Brummy. Yeah, I. Little girl who had some. My kind of my regional dialects up that what area are all over the place. So. Uh, the whole thing scared me, John. I feel real uneasy. I feel scared and I shit myself a little. The whole thing scared the crap out of me. But that little girl was freaky. My gut says her fit was a setup, a scam to put that woman on trial in even bigger trouble. You mean your wife? Accusations were often malicious, made by someone with a grudge. Or by meddling liars, like that little girl, who took perverse pleasure in poisoning their own communities. Uh, I agreed last time. I still want to agree, because fuck that kid, but this one! Come on. She's just some little kid. Who most likely doesn't get how big a deal the whole thing is. She knows exactly how serious it is. She's the devil? Either way, the woman on trial, Angela 2.0, she seemed like she saw us. And so did some of the others. Where are you looking? A little kid just seeing us appear out of nowhere. Hey guys! Could easily believe that was what's going especially back then dream up all the excuses you want for that little kid I don't trust her one little bit. We can't explain how we happen to see each other How do you expect some little girl from 300 years ago to wrap her head around it? The woman we just saw condemned I Saw her back at the intersection Hmm. This one 
She was in deep shit. And she knew it. It's tough to watch. Okay. <laughs> That's that. Who's that? Hey, Professor! You in there? Come on. Let's go. Twilight's at the door. Hey, Taylor! We're in here! Who Can't is open it? Open the damn doors! Can't hear you! Who is it? We can't either! They must be locked! Oh no, it's locked! I can't open! Let's all try to force the handle. In three, two, one... Please! Thanks for helping, Angela. Taylor. Hey, Professor. Find anything that could get us out of here? Nah, big fat nothing back there. Just nah, the big fat guns. stinker, bro. Are you okay? I'm fine. Why the concern, John? What's bugging you? We just saw you on trial 300 Angela's years ago. We'll get tried and condemned for being a witch. Okay, so now what? Uh, we've already tried a few places and come up with nothing. Except enough weird shit to put us in therapy for life. And we have to continue on into town. Forget about what's happened so far. Our best shot at finding help is in town. Really? Forget about what's happened? There's some real scary shit going down in the outskirts and our plan is to stroll into the center of Weirdsville? Just a suggestion, <laughs> but maybe we should figure out what the fuck is going on here. We're gonna do a jaunt down into Stinker we Town? To that That's not vibing thinks. with me, brah. What's gonna happen to her next? I like the idea, but how would we even begin to find that out? To Weirdsville. We've already been down those paths. Maybe the answer lies down the one path we haven't taken yet. What the hell? <laughs> Sometimes the idle animations are hilarious. It's just characters standing around like... This is fucking crazy. We have no clue what we're getting ourselves into. Yeah, I'm not being optimistic anymore. Nah, that version of Will Poulter is dead. It's dead as Angela's character was at the beginning of the end of the last one. The trial, the strange girl, Angela's double. Feels like it's all building towards something. Only question is, are we headed someplace good or bad? And bad is probably very, very bad. Oh my god. Stop talking. Good is good and bad is very bad. Um, also, why did Angela grab muscles there and they were about to start talking? <clears throat> What's his name? We don't know his name, do we? Hmm. Maybe I should take selfies with this camera. Oh, it's a Will Poulter. Would you like a picture? <laughs> it's like, oh my god, that's Will Poulter. <laughs> Oh my god, shit, I left the flash on! <laughs> oh, hide, 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 hide. What's up, Angela? You ready to die? Let's go! Let's go! This fog is getting worse. Angela trying to hit it? I mean, can you blame her? Look at this dude. He's a walking Abercrombie and Abercrombie and Fitch model. The fog was the reason for the diversion. We were never meant to make it out of here. <sighs> never mind. I'm throwing Taylor off the bridge this time. You want to go first, Angela? Okay, Angela. There's a hole in the bridge. Don't fall in. I can't see for shit. God, it scared me again! Fuck! What is wrong with me? The water looks black. I don't want to go anywhere near it. I like our squad. We look like we can fuck some shit up. Okay. Who's first up? Daniel, that's his name. Professor, you keep telling us you're in charge, so... All right, I lead the way. Whatever. Okay. Sure thing. I'm just gonna knock the bridge behind me though when I get over, and then you guys can't cross. Safe to cross? 
Don't stress. The professor and me will make sure you get across, no problem. Uh, I didn't have this one before, so I'll just go with nervous. Right, we'll, we'll get you over for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not letting it scare me this time. No, I know the hand grab is coming. I'm ready this time. Hey! Here it comes. My God. What do we do? We can't stay here. That's cool looking though. Huh. Attaboy, John. Oh, wait, is he gonna get grabbed now? This is different. No, no, stinky! Not getting me this time! In this year of our Lord, 1692, we are 1692. No! Amy That's all the husband the does this entire the time. Devil. He just goes, and to be no! Witch and sorceress. Let's just pray in silence for her soul. I've done no wrong. I am no witch. I do not deserve death. I beg you. Those character models are awesome. Why do you look like Angela? <laughs> Who the hell are you? And how come you look just like Angela? I do not know any Angela. I am the simple wife of a good man, a farmer. I have done no wrong. Get fucked up. The devil is in the wind, seeking to help his own. He would release her from the chains. Isaac, let us conclude our business here swiftly. The will of the court must be imposed before it's too late. Before it's too late. The devil fortifies her. You must bind her tightly. A hunter, are you? Leave the hunting of hunters to me. No, I guess I'll just duck my head down. I do this. Isaac, I am innocent. the will of the court. This mocap mo is really good here. Let's come for us all. Little Hope is already lost, shrouded in evil. But not as you claim from witchcraft or outside demons, we are poisoned from within. You will not save yourself with riddles. There is no riddle. The devil takes many forms. You know that better than any. In Lil Hope, he has hid himself under a shroud of innocence, taken the form of a child by accuser. So good. While Mary still draws breath, Lil Hope remains beyond salvation. There lies your evil reference. Be your very fate. Isaac. Ah! And then the husband's just like, oh no. I think the husband wanted done with her already. Alright, so this time we don't make any choice. We see what happens. And I'm also not doing any QTEs. I want to see how far this can go. I want to see if the characters actually can die. I mean, oh no! Angela! Ah. Uh oh, stinky poop! Jump, Angela. Use those tiny legs. What did you see? Tell me. I don't know how to tell you what I just saw. Oh, uh, nothing. Oh, uh, I didn't see anything. Give us a moment here, will ya? We've just gone through something pretty tough. Tough in what way? I need a moment. The fuck? Here comes Angela. The Reverend kind of looks like Will. I guess a little bit, yeah. We haven't seen a character that looks identical to him. Like the others. Maybe Will's the little girl. Alright, I'll go first. <clears throat> Okay, you two, get on down here.
That water effect is really cool too. What the hell is that? What is that? Honestly, she doesn't look that different from regular Angela. Run! All right, no decision. Look out! I pretend I do not see. I'm sorry! Hey! I have to! Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Come on, help us out here! Whoops. Oh, you get a second chance? <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Don't do it. Don't puke in her. Ew. Ew. Dude, what is wrong with me? Angela, no. Uh, John finds himself out anyway. Damn it! Oh no! We need to get out of here right now. <laughs> that was awesome! It's almost worth getting the characters killed just so you can see cool shit. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Angela, I'm sorry, but I'm not. Everybody in chat agrees that that was fucking dope. Right? Yeah! That was so cool! I'm glad we went through it the second time. Um. I don't know if... They said that there wasn't a whole lot different about the... The curator's cut, so I don't know if I should do it. Um... Because you can't skip any of the stuff either, so you have to watch the whole thing again. Shout out to Milk. <laughs> he doesn't get in trouble for ignoring the plea for help. I'm sure he comes back later. When he needs to be saved and the other characters are like... Oh, I'm sorry. Yep, everyone agrees. Everyone agrees that it was cool and Angela deserved it. <laughs> Ugh, I can't tab out of this easily. Where's my mouse? Um, that was fun. I'm glad we, we got to see more of it. Um, I'm also trying to figure out what that little doll is in the O of Hope. It kind of looks like the little girl. It's a very Blair Witch kind of thing to do. Can I play, play this or did you just get access? I got early access to it. Um, which I'm very glad about because that's, that's really, really fun. I definitely think that this has way more potential than Man, Man of Medan. Because Man of Medan was... Like, the setup wasn't even that interesting to me, and then getting taken over by pirates and then going onto a boat. I'm just not a fan of, like, boat horror. Any movies or games that just have you on boats and scary stuff is happening, it's like, it doesn't scare me that much. Because it's so self-contained that it feels like, oh, well, off the boat is not that scary. Whereas this, it feels like, well, outside the town could still be scary. It's the idea of stuff following you that scares me. Uh, Chris, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Uh, Zombie, thank you for the... Do you, anyone see me when I do this? Oh, you're not getting ignored. I don't ignore anybody. I'm not, like, willfully ignoring stuff just to make people feel bad. It's just I need to concentrate on the game, so I apologize if your stuff doesn't get read out. Um, Obviously, she's never watched an episode of Meme Time before. Yeah, she'd be a lot happier if she did. Um, J Gamer, thanks for becoming a member. Um, Zombie, thank you. Oh yeah, for that one. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yoan, thanks for becoming a member. GTX, thank you so much. 
Randy, I would drop kick that little girl, no cap. <laughs> I feel like it. It's cool though, because I want to see where she ends up and what happens with the little girl. Uh, Mercer, thank you so much. Do you know Vinny... Uh, do you know Vine Sauce Vinny slash Joel? Yes, I believe I've met them. Um, but not uh, a crazy amount. We haven't hung out much, and I, I didn't talk to them for very long. But they're cool. Sushi, thank you. Are you playing Demon Souls when it comes out? Yes. I'll probably do some Demon Souls because I am really excited about it. Um, Jack, can you please say, I love fire trucks? I love fire trucks? What? I, okay. I love fire trucks. Um, so this game comes out in October, I believe. That's what people said. Let's look it up. Um, should be. Yeah, 30th of October, 2020. I'm really excited for that. That's going to be really fun. So we have a uh, two months. And then it'll be out. So thanks to them for giving it to me so early. Appreciate it. Uh, character, thank you. What if the opposite thing happens to your double opposed you? That's what I was trying to think. Would stuff... Could they affect us and us affect them? Like, how much is it going to cross over to one another? It's a cool uh, premise to kind of dive into and see where it's going to go. And I, for one, am all in. It really does feel like a New Age um, Silent Hill. Which I feel like, there's been rumors of a new Silent Hill for the last while. And I really, really want a new one to come out. So hopefully, maybe someday, but I'll settle for this for now. <clears throat> um, I'm excited for Evelyn to play it as well, because I think she'll really, really like it. These games always have hidden things to them, like how Medan was a hallucination. I wonder if this one will be like reincarnation. I don't know, Tiffany. We'll see. Sayo, thank you. When are your masks going to be out of pre-order? Whenever the manufacturing can be done. The, um, the manufacturing timeline of everything is all messed up now because of coronavirus. Ah, uh, the Lone Wolf, thank you. Uh, Angel, thank you so much. I've been watching you since 2015 when I was eight. My god, feels like forever ago. Zombie, thank you again. <laughs> Swedish fan for six years. That's nuts. Thank you. That's a long time to be around. T Karma, thank you. Definitely excited to play and explore this part of the series. It looks a bit more on the edge of your seat, so it'll keep you interested. Yeah, for sure. And I'm very interested to see what the multiplayer aspect to it is going to be like. Because it was really fun in Man of Madame, but again, very contained. The... Because when you're there and you see that stuff is a hallucination, that's not scary to me. So I am immediately like, eh. Like, stuff is happening and it's cool to see, but it's not scaring me and it's not intriguing me because it's easily explained away. And then you got to the end of it and it was like, oh, it was just a hallucination. So there was no real twist to it. I hope there's something... I hope there's something twisty in this one. John Doe, thank you. Oh, I got you before. Uh, Michelle, thank you so much. Uh, Kath, happy birthday! Hope you have a wonderful day! Uh, Adam Starr, thank you for becoming a member. Mr. Happy Ending, thank you for the two dollars. Play some Tell Me Why. I've been thinking about it, I don't know if I will. I'm just not really that interested in it. Um, and I don't really want to play stuff just for the sake of playing it anymore. And I also just don't want to play stuff to pander to you guys just for the sake of it either. Because there's a ton of stuff I could play that people keep asking me to play all the time, but that's not... It doesn't get the juices flowing, it doesn't feel as fun, and there's a lot of stuff that you can get, like, easy views and easy money out of if you want to, but that's not... super interesting to me either. Like, I... I, I like playing the stuff that intrigues me, like, like this. And doing it in a live stream format is fun as well, because we can all make jokes together and... When it's choice-based stuff, we can kind of dick around a little bit more. Because if it's me on my own recording for a Let's Play, I always feel like I have to play it perfectly. Because then people get one episode a day or something and they can't see... 
the next one or it and then people start getting mad if you don't make the right decision so playing it in a stream is really really fun because then we're all just kind of dicking around and we're in the same sort of headspace together and we're having fun and then we can just go back and like play with the scenarios again Will you play A Way Out with, with Gab? No. I already played it with Robin and I don't really want to go back and play it again. It's a it's a really fun game, but it's like a one one and done kind of game for me. Alicia, thank you so much. Appreciate it. And Virgil, thank you. Where can I get your masks? We do have masks for sale on jacksepticeye.com. And we're giving away any of the profits of them to help coronavirus. Um and we do have other versions of the masks coming in because people told me that polyester is not the best. It's better than nothing, but it's not the best for um, what the masks are supposed to be doing. So we, we are trying to source cotton ones. And I asked the team to do that. I don't know if they're in yet. No, it's still it's, they're still the polyester ones. So there's still something, but um, people were saying that studies have shown that the cotton ones are even better so, I, I want to get cotton ones in. It's just, again, trying to source that kind of stuff so quickly in this current climate is a really hard thing to do. Um, but at least there's masks there um, if, people wanna, if people still want to get them. And money is going towards helping the cause as well at the same time. Furry, Jesus Christ, that's, no, that's too much, stop. <laughs> you don't need to give anybody that kind of money. I appreciate it, but I feel weird about, about it. This is my first stream, I'm so glad I'm here. I appreciate the enthusiasm. It's very sweet of you. Ranger, thank you so much. It's, it's hard to, like, divide time in streams, I feel. Because I really want to put a lot of effort into the game and what I'm doing. Because that leads towards, like, the best version of the content. But then I'm live streaming, so I like interacting with the chat. But the chat's moving so fast and it's hard to divide my attention. And there's always going to be people that get missed out on and feel like they're being ignored. And then there's all the super chats and the memberships and everything coming in that I want to also address. Because people are being so generous and supportive. But it's even harder to get to all of those. And then... As soon as I start reading them, then more of them come in, and then I'll, I'll just end up being reading all of them. But then some people feel left out if they don't get their stuff read out there as well. So all I say is, please don't interact with the live streams if all you want is me to read out your name or something. Because I can't always get to everything, and I, would f I feel so bad when people feel ignored, or they feel like they're... I, I don't appreciate their messages or anything like that. I really do try to get to as many of them as I can. But there's so many different things to juggle when you're doing a live stream. When does Demon Souls come out? Is it coming for the Switch? Love, I love Frams After. No, Martin. It's coming out for exclusively for PlayStation 5. And they've said that it's coming out in the launch window, which is usually about a four-month period. So, anywhere between the launch of the PS5, whenever that's going to be, and four months after that is when I think they're hoping. But it'll probably change. Um, a lot of games, I think, that are planned for the start of the console life cycles are going to get pushed back and get delayed because, again, the world is just in a weird place. Harley and the dead... and uh, Markov. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce the start of it. Thank you for becoming members. I appreciate it. What have you done in this stream so far? I just got here. Well, bad timing, because we finished playing the game. We played Little Hope twice through and got some cool interactions. I was going to play the curator's cut, but them saying that there's not a whole lot different. Um, and there's I picked all the opposite choices that I did already, so I can't really do much else. If if the curator's code is not that different and playing it again normally is not that different, then I don't really see. And I don't want to do everything here now. We have to leave some stuff for when the game actually comes out to keep it more fun. Is it raining? No, I just turned on a thing. It's not actually raining here. It is England, so it would track, but no. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Was that fun? I had a great time. 
Do you have new merch? Yeah, we released new designs as well. Lunar Sam designs that I really, really like. I'm trying to... I keep wanting to elevate the merch to a, a level where it's, it doesn't look YouTubery, merchy looking anymore. And that's a hard thing to do, especially when you want to keep things affordable in a way. Um, so I, we're trying to come up with like cool designs and I had a lot of feedback on this one and changed some stuff and had... I like brought into design and went into Photoshop and changed some stuff around to try and make it more what I would like. Um, and I think they came out really well. Because I just don't like plastering like big Sams on everything the way it always is. It's very... It feels very like four years ago. And it's not really who I... It's not really the way the channel is anymore, and I think the channel has grown and moved and evolved and matured a little bit, so... I want to... I want the merch to kind of reflect that as well. And I like... There's a lot of merch that people make that they wouldn't wear themselves. Because it's designed just for their audience, but I want to make stuff that I... I personally would still really like to wear. Does that make sense? <laughs> Is this sound dumb? I don't know. <laughs> And the merch side of things was is never there to just make money out of it or anything like that. So I want to make sure that the stuff we're releasing is actually stuff that I, I really like and think is cool looking. Uh, vengeful one, thank you. Can you wish me and my friend Bree an early happy birthday? Happy birthday, Bree. Cynthia, thank you so much. Um, Maria, thank you as well. Appreciate it. And Tiffany, thank you guys. Is the new Avenger game something you'd look into? I, I keep getting the offers for like codes and stuff for it, and I, I thought about it, but every time I look at the gameplay for it, I know myself, I won't enjoy it. And that's one of those games where I don't want to feel like I'm playing it just because a bunch of people in my audience keep asking me for it. I want to get out of that sort of like pandering territory. But if it comes out and people have good things to say about it, then maybe I'll change my mind. It's just from what I've seen so far, it doesn't look super interesting. It looks like something that I get bored of in like an hour. Yes, I am very pumped for Resi 8, Aaron. Today's my 24th birthday. Happy birthday, Brandon. Um... Okay, well, I feel like we did everything we were supposed to do in this stream. Um, and I also want to be, like, aware that a lot of people can't make it to the stream, so they're going to watch this afterwards, so hi. <laughs> um, so I don't want to bloat this entire thing with too much that's not just the main event of the, the game. Because I want to be cognizant that most of the people who are going to watch this w won't have seen it live. Um... And I want to I want to just give a good experience for those people as well. So I'm gonna end the stream here It's a short one, but thank you guys so much for showing up. Thank you guys for being part of it and Hanging out and just being here. I really genuinely appreciate it. It's so much fun to stream Certain games these days and I it's just nice to have you guys here live and I'm able to interact with you and see what you're all saying and I don't know just kind of hang out and interact together that, that side of the community is something that I really cherish and value, so I want to keep that going. So thanks. I appreciate you guys. But I am going to leave it here. Um, and I'll see you guys on the next one. What's the next one going to be? I have no idea. But we'll, we'll see. I might ask you guys for some suggestions. But whatever. But thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next one. I guess. Oh. Loud thunder right at the end. Okay, bye-bye.